Hey guys, welcome to part three of our tank build with our Red Sea Reefer 250. Today, we would like you to tag along with us as we complete the aquascaping for our tank. Here are some quick tips to follow when aquascaping. Think of your fish. In most cases, you'll be keeping fish in your reef tank. So you wanna make sure that they have lots of hiding spots so they can feel secure. At the same time, you wanna allow a good amount of swimming space. Think of your corals. Start to think about the type of corals you wanna keep and their growth patterns. So make sure to do some research on the type of corals you plan on keeping in your aquarium. You also wanna build your rock so that your aquarium will have a good flow so that you will not have lots of detritus build up. Choosing your rock. Your rock will be the foundation for your aquarium's ecosystem and it will also determine the placement for all your corals. Don't give rock that's the same shape. It's good to mix things up, especially if you're going for a natural looking reef. There are three shapes we would recommend. The almost rounded base rock, which true to its name is used in most cases as the base of your rockscape's foundation. Branching rock, which can also be used as your foundation you can also use branching rock in so many creative ways. Shelf rock is great for making shelves to sit corals on or caves for your fish to hide in. I love the fact that the Carib Sea rock we're using for this build is already porous, so it should be easy for us to attach corals to it. Be patient. I have owned over eight saltwater aquariums, and sometimes the aquascaping can take me 15 minutes or sometimes it has taken me a few hours to get it the way I want it. But again, with good planning, you should cut down on the time it takes you to complete it. Sometimes less is more. I'll admit it, in the past I have been guilty of cramming loads of live rock in an aquarium. When I first started in the hobby, in my mind, the more rock I had in the tank meant the more surface area I had for corals. Which is true, but sometimes if you put too much rock in your tank, it can end up looking cluttered. And you also limit the swimming area for your fish. I think the best tanks have a happy medium of rock and open space. My wife always teases me because now I always say I have to have my beachfront property in my tank, meaning I like to have a lot of front area where there's nice open sand so I can place corals such as scolies or zoas and I can see all the little critters like snails and hermit crabs running around. Take special care not to put the rock too close to your glass as it might prevent cleaning. Okay, so we decided to do a time lapse setting up our rockscape in our tank. Uh, there's nothing like aquascaping with thousands of people watching. No pressure. Let's get rocking. <laughs> you get it? I said rocking because we're doing aquascape. Never mind. Please note that a lot of people do this a little bit differently than I do. Some people prefer to put their sand in the tank first and then they place their rock. I personally prefer to set up my rock first and then put my sand in place. For those of you that have been following my previous tank builds on my channel, Thomas Vision Reef, you already know that I like a minimalistic look. So that's what I'll try to accomplish here. I sometimes use aquarium safe epoxy if I want to add rock in a place that it normally wouldn't be stable in to almost give it that floating rock feel. So what do you guys think? Uh, I think this needs some more work. Let's keep going. Well at this point, I don't like the whole left side. I need my beachfront property. So I'm going to take down the left side and start it over. We'll be looking at this tank for a long time, so we want to make sure that this works for us and the tank's inhabitants. We are finally done. I think I'm happy with the way it turned out, but what do you guys think? Let me know how you think I did in the comments below. Be gentle or not, I can take it. Now that I'm happy with the rockscape, it's time to add sand. We will be using Caribsea's Arag Alive Sand. I've decided to do a mix of three of their sands. The Fiji Pink, the Mini Pink, and the Crushed Coral. The two pink sands I'll put on the left side of the tank, and the Crushed Coral will be on the right side of the tank. We have definitely been paying attention to the requests you guys have made for the equipment you would like to feature on the tank. A few of you wanted to see the AI Prime, 
which we featured in a video a few weeks ago. You can check out that video here. We decided to switch up the color and go with the black AI Prime. How do you guys think it looks? We're still considering what we should put on the other side. Should we add another Prime or a different light so we can compare growth? Well guys, keep tuning in for our tank build. We have a lot more planned. Thanks for watching. And I think this reefer is ready for water.